Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. All right, so practice number five, five practices, and the second one opened up to the media today. Open to the media it has concluded. It's done. It's over. It's out of here. And so now they're beginning to tweet and uh, talk about practice and everything else and what they saw going on. And reminiscent of Sean Lee. Sean Lee in 2013 in practice. Zach Martin, you know, the thing about OTAs are they're non contact non-padded practices they're full speed so to speak but you're not hitting and tackling and so forth Zach Martin came around pulling and hit Sean Lee you know ran into him Sean Lee's knee buckled and destroyed it he was lost to the season the Cowboys had a big scare today because Leighton Vander Esch picked off a Dak Prescott pass in practice in OTAs and went to the ground and was down for several minutes. Not one, but two trainers went to see him. And of course, collectively, if you were there in 2013, you had to be like, oh shit, here we go. You know, what's going on? How bad is this? Um, the good news is, thank God, he just had the wind knocked out of him. And see, this is the thing that's crazy, and this is what you hate to see is, but, but it's a necessary evil, is losing players in non-contact off-season work. You know, it's one thing to lose a guy in the heat of battle in the middle of a game. You know, you understand that. I mean, you're going, you know, a thousand miles an hour full speed, you know, trying to destroy. You're asking guys to do things that are unnatural. It's another thing when you lose them in OTAs, and this is one of the things where the NFLPA says, you know what, we're better off not practicing because we have less injuries. But it's it's a double-headed sword, I guess, so to speak, because you need the practice to be able to play in a way that you can also protect yourself. Better technique, better form ends up being less of those, I'm just going to run into a guy as fast as I can with him, with my head and, and try and knock him down, as opposed to getting my head across the body, using my shoulder as a cradle, wrapping up and driving through him. Less head trauma because you're not using your head as a batting room. And this is where, for the Cowboys, I'm guessing, as you're watching him on the ground for a couple of minutes, in your mind, you're sitting here thinking... You know, well, this is the reason why we didn't do the fifth-year option um, because we're not sure about if this is a guy that can stay healthy. Again, just got the wind knocked out. Thank God it's just the wind knocked out of him. Um, in other news, they say Tony Pollard looks real good at YBC. Because, you know, we're short on wide receivers. We ain't got very many wide receivers. So let's play everybody at wide receiver. Dak, why don't you go out for a couple of passes? Um, I think that this, I, I'm trying to think in two ways. Because I, I did a video earlier and said, I really don't want people to know what I'm doing. If you're Bill Belichick, if you're Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick doesn't let you know Jack. You'll find out what I'm doing come Sunday when I kick your ass. And it's not going to give you any hints about changing players' positions and things like that. I actually think that this is a good thing because I say you just paid Dak a whole bunch of money. You believe that he's a top five quarterback. You look at the rankings and they say you've got second best wide receiver core in the NFL. They say you have about the sixth best rushing duo in the NFL. Then why not rely on your strength? Why not go for what you know? And why is my exit closed? It's my exit. I can't go. They tell me I can't go to my house. Oh. 
because they're working on the side for my exit. They got trucks there on my exit. I guess I can go, oh, okay, I can still go. Okay, I, I'm good, I'm okay. Um, I think this would be great, quite frankly, if they're able to um, use the passing game to help set up the run. I believe that the Cowboys should just say, we're going wide open. We have provided Van Der Esch's and Jalen Smith stay healthy along with the other guys. We have basically setting up to the point where we have two waves of defenders. We're getting depth in positions that we didn't have before. We got depth in, 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 in linebackers, clearly. And with some of the free agent acquisitions as well as in the draft, we've got another set of defensive linemen. You've got a rotation where you can have eight guys rotating on the defensive front. And if that's going to be the case, if you decide that we're going to take the offense and we're going to be a video game offense, as in we're going to just try and score at will. We're going to come right at you and we're going to say, this is a freaking track meet. We are going to score and we're going to score often. We're going to go wide open and we're just going to run you into the ground. If you do that, of course, that exposes your defense and puts them on the field more. But if you're looking at it from the standpoint of being young, athletic, and being able to send a second wave of guys out there, and you make other teams one-dimensional that aren't built for a lot of scoring, like, say, the Giants, you don't look at the Giants and say they're going to be able to put up 30 points in the game. You don't look at the Eagles right now and say they're going to be able to put up 30 points. You don't look at Washington, even with Fitz Magic, and everybody thinks that he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You don't look at that team being a team that's going to be able to keep up with you. And so if you make those guys one-dimensional that are also guys that are prone to turning over the football, and you have these young athletic guys that have all kinds of wind in the tank, that you can say, we're just going to outrun you then I say do it. But I don't want to tell people that this is what we're doing. We're planning on putting Tony Pollard, taking him from the backfield, you know, doing motion, putting him out there as a wide receiver, and throwing the ball to him, even though he did catch a lot of passes in his days in college. I'd rather surprise you on Sunday and just befuddle you so you say, we didn't expect that. We did not expect that at all from the Dallas Cowboys. Whew. Leighton Van Der Esch laying down on the field for a couple of minutes. Wow. All right. Time to go back to work. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you later.